Okay, let's take a look at the new White Dwarf uh, Vision, Warhammer Vision. So here's, uh, we got the Orc Morkonaut on there. And actually, that's sorry, it's a Gorkonaut. So let's take a look at this issue. I haven't really been buying Warhammer Visions just because uh, they've been featuring armies that I don't uh, own. And I didn't really see the need to uh, to go and buy this when I could just buy more models. So, let's see how this is stuck on here. Okay, so we got our nice sleeve there. So we got our uh, sort of a dual kind of glossy and matte finish on the cover here with the Orc Morkonaut, sorry, Gorkonaut. There we are, there's a Morkonaut on the back. And as you can see, the sort of the glossy sections that GW does now with their books. So this is the July edition, and hopefully it's going to feature lots of Orcs. So first off, flip it open, and uh, we can see some uh, flash kits, more pictures of the Orcs. Oh, here we go, great. So lots and lots of orcs uh, featured in this issue. And I understand that some of uh, the guys from Tale of Painters have their stuff featured in here. So let's see. Okay, lots of uh, Morkonauts and Gorkonauts. Nice pretty pictures uh, going through here. So interior stuff. I have these models, so I don't really uh, need to see all those details. But that's kind of cool to see um, some of the different paint jobs that uh, GW has done here. If I'm going to get some more of these things, this would be great uh, source material. We got some fold out pages here, some nice big battles, lots of great, great pictures. Uh, definitely no disappointment there. So let's see, just flipping through. Here we go, some flash kits, nice close up pictures of them. Some more battle scenes, lots and lots of these battle scenes. Uh, here we go with the uh, the shock attack gun. So this would be great source material if you were uh, to paint this guy up. Some great. Uh, Great different uh, angles here. Um, of course, I already have mine painted and have a tutorial up. You can check that out. Here we go with the uh, the mech boy. I haven't painted mine up yet, so I might take some hints from that. Here we go with our mech guns and uh, some of the grot crew for that. There's our uh, pain boy. So lots of great features of all the new orc stuff. Here we go with the new mega knobs. I haven't assembled mine yet, but uh, I'll be doing that shortly. Lots and lots of pictures of orcs. So there we go with the uh, Mega Knob um, orc uh, Big Mech with the there's the uh, custom force field, which is kind of nerfed in the new codex. And uh, here we go with the Death Roll Battle Wagon, Boys Mobs. So yeah, they're showing all the new releases here. Lots and lots of stuff for you to buy and spend your money on. There's that Forge World uh, Knight. Okay, let's just see what else. Lots and lots of pictures. Here we go, some. Uh, your Lord of the Rings feature. I guess that's not quite dead yet. And uh, some feature stuff. Oh, neat. Some goblins there on uh, Fenrisian wolves. That's cool. That's the goblin shaman uh, single figure. And actually, those are all goblins from the, um, the Ragnarok. Some cool. Uh, wow, some nice, nice non metallic stuff there. Okay, so these are all golden demon features. I'm not sure what they're going to do about this in the future with uh, no games days. I don't know if there's going to be a Golden Demon Awards. hope so, because that's kind of a cool tradition that GW has been having going. Now these pictures are actually kind of, uh, the color seems a bit odd on them. Anyways, uh, flipping through, there we go, some of the, uh, the, the conversion, the kit bash kits for the uh, flash kits. And this guy here, I kind of copied him, um, did a similar look. Obviously I picked a different chest, different uh, head. But I got the cigar and the uh, the big chopper there. Okay, so flipping through that, there's some other ones. So they did a snaz gun sort of a thing with uh, the combi weapon and just changed out some of the barrels and stuff. That's kind of a neat uh, neat option um, that I didn't do. This one here is really cool, the double sluggas. I'm gonna have to uh, do one of my Megan, one of my uh, freebooter knobs like that. I think. There you go with a cyborg arm. That's a cool thing there. I got the the front of the uh, one of the um, flash snaz guns uh, on the front of a slugga. Okay, here we go. Some empire stuff, some orcs and goblins. Kit bash here with uh, some tyranid stuff. Not too interested in that myself, but it might be neat for some other people. I was hoping for some orc kit bashes, but uh, I guess not. Maybe next issue they'll have one for the looted wagon. That would be nice. So here we go. With some different. Uh, Tyranid stuff, lots of big monsters there, some armies on parade now, and oh, that's a cool uh, 
orc building there. I might have to build up something like that. Looks almost like a tower of some sort. Um, I don't know if that would count as a bastion. Maybe it would. Looks like they've covered up a bit of a base. It looked like it had a square base, maybe. I'll have to uh, read that article and see if there's any inspiration there. Um, Blanjitsu. Some really uh, poorly painted conversions. Here we go with some uh, paint splatter. So here's showing the different uh, orc uh, tutorials. So this stuff here is, I think it was all the same stuff featured in the White Dwarf. I'm not sure exactly, but it looks very similar to the White Dwarf Weekly ones. Yeah, it is. It's almost identical. I Maybe, oh, here's some Mega Armor, but that was done last week's issue. Yeah, so this is all, or almost all, uh, reprinting from the, um, the White Dwarf Weekly. So you almost need to, you don't need to get both, that's for sure. And there we go, some Bad Moon Boys. And uh, store finder, because uh, you don't have the internet, you need to find where your stores are. And uh, that's about it. So that's our White Dwarf, uh, sorry, Warhammer Visions, uh, the replacement for the White Dwarf Monthly Magazine. Pretty cool. I picked it up because it's got orcs in it, and I have lots and lots of orcs. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed that, and go pick up your copy.